Number 10 on our list for the top biggest home builders here in DFW is going to be the ever popular Toll Brothers Homes. Now, Toll Brothers is currently going to be building here in 20 different communities. Some of them are coming soon, but they are already up on their website. And hopefully we'll be hearing and seeing more information from them any day now because I have clients interested in a couple of them. So when you are thinking of Toll Brothers, right now their prices are starting at around one point or sorry, four hundred thousand dollars and going up to the starting price of about $1.3 million. So prices are definitely getting higher, and that is for sure going to depend on where you're building. But I will get into where you can find the cheaper options uh, with Toll Brothers here as we kind of get into the website. Now, let's talk a little bit about the reviews, though, because this is another builder where your reviews are going to be all over the place. Yes, again, you're always going to find a lot of those haters posting comments online, but it's not the first time home buyer who's usually going to be getting in to buy a Toll Brothers home. And when it does come to the higher end homes or people who have gone through the build process before, at least, you know, maybe one time before they're moving up to a Toll Brothers home, people tend to expect more from a higher end builder. And yes, sometimes they just want to complain online because that just seems to be what everybody wants to do. So when you do find comments like the cheap finishes or shoddy workmanship, sometimes it's from those who go in to buy from a production builder, but expect to leave, um, with a builder who is more custom. But no, Toll Brothers is still going to be a production builder. And that's where I find that some of these complaints are coming from. Because honestly, I have never had one buyer that has been completely 100% satisfied with any of the build processes, processes, even from the cheap homes to the expensive homes over a million dollars. So something always tends to go wrong and people need to vent their frustrations. So Toll Brothers does have a really great reputation though for their craftsmanship and their attention to detail. And I feel like when you do drive through a Toll Brothers neighborhood, you know who the builder is. Like I could probably point out that was built by Toll Brothers. And while having that brick and stone exterior here in Texas is very common, you are going to see a lot more people upgrading their exteriors to stucco on some Toll Brothers homes. I'll show you some pictures here in a second. Now, that actually, for me, was more of an Arizona thing. Even crazier, though, here, because everyone in Arizona had stucco on their homes. But even crazier here in Texas, um, there are a number of homes in some of these Toll Brothers communities, not just Toll Brothers, I'm seeing them other places, but multiple homes in Toll Brothers communities where they're adding on tile roofs. Now, I mean, honestly, are you kidding me? These must be, be the people from out of town who just honestly don't believe that we actually um, get hail here, like ever. And when, you, like, when you're when you spending maybe $75,000 on a tile roof upgrade, yes, not joking, it could be up to around $75,000, I mean, depending on the size of the house, of course it could be even more. But if you're going to add that tile roof on, I swear I feel like the people that are adding it must be made of money because on the chance that your home does get hit by hail, that could be very expensive to change that out. But of course, maybe people believe that hail is never going to hit in those areas with their tile roofs. So that just must be me, but I do find that to be a little bit crazy here in Texas. All right, let's go hop into the website and show you a little bit more of what Toll Brothers is offering. Here on the Toll Brothers website, like I said, we they're going to be in 20 luxury home communities. And clicking on their quick move-in homes, they currently have 34 quick move-in homes available as well. So they are all over the place with prices for their quick move-in homes. Here, we'll sort this just so you can get an idea. Out in Wildflower Ranch of only $449,000, a little bit of a price decrease out there. But then when we go up to their higher price point, just under $2 million out in Copper Canyon, which is in the Flower Mound Highland Village area, right over here on the map. So not too far north of DFW and pretty easy to get over to the airport with that um, in the community over in Copper Canyon. So as you can see here on the map, Toll Brothers is really only building in the north part of DFW. Well, there is the one community out here west of Fort Worth in Walsh Ranch. But for the most part, 
they are being, they're building in the North and the West. Nobody, you're not finding them currently, at least down South in areas like Waxahachie, Midlothian, Mansfield, for example, um, where you're starting to see a lot of new construction, new build communities um, down in the South end. Toll Brothers is really up only on the North end right now because Toll Brothers, for them, they're really all about location and their community and their lot size with their lowest priced homes they're still in some really great master plan communities as well as some great communities in their higher price point. And since they're known as one of the more higher end production builders here in DFW, when there are multiple builders in a community that Toll Brothers are located in, they're going to be some of the most expensive homes that are going to be available in those master plan communities. So another thing to kind of think about, even if you're in a really nice community, Toll Brothers could definitely be at that pretty high end um, of the prices in those communities. But overall, Toll Brothers are known for their higher end luxury homes with more customization options and upgrades. And while they do build in some really nice master plan communities, they are also building a lot of their homes in um, their own developments and their smaller, more luxury uh, boutique type communities. They're coming up with quite a number of those here currently. And typically these type of homes are going to be built on larger lot sizes for those that are really wanting more of that luxury home or that custom opportunity in a, you know, more boutique type luxury community. And a lot of the Toll Brothers homes do come standard with some high-end finishes and luxury upgrades. But while you can certainly go into most of these communities and pick your lot and your floor plan, you can also go to the design center and pick out all of the details that you want of your home. Now let's talk about the upgrades that you're going to get with Toll Brothers. Now, when the base price of a home is starting, say around $900,000 for a 4,000 square foot home, I am speaking from experience a little bit on this one with a client. Um, maybe some of the things should maybe come standard, you would feel like, with a Toll Brothers home. Well, no, that's not necessarily the case because when I was working with my client on purchasing their new construction home, um, it's that standard tile that you're going to get with the home that they were going to just throw in there, basic option, no upgrade. Um it's pretty much something that I would have felt like I would be seeing in more of the cheaper type production home builder, but that was me. So yep, some of their decent options were definitely a lot more of an upgrade, but also talking about maybe the shower tile that are, is in all of your bathrooms. Well, I feel like when you're buying from Toll Brothers that that tile should go all the way up to the ceiling because a lot of the nicer builders are going to offer that. Well, of course, you're going to see that in the model home, but you're going to have to pay an additional upgrade charge to have the tile go to the ceiling. But my opinion about buying a Toll Brothers home, I kind of wish they would definitely have that already come standard, and that should just be something that Toll Brothers knows that they need to offer and not always nickel and dime some of the things that I feel like they're offering. So don't get me started with their electrical <laughs> options as well. Um, you go into a model home and honestly, there seem to be 8 million lights and 12 switches on the wall. Yes. I like to exaggerate a little bit, but standard that they're going to let you have come with the home is maybe going to be four, four lights, four can lights up in the top. And they're going to say most people are going to choose at minimum of six to eight. Well, that is yet another pretty expensive upgrade, especially when we're talking electrical. So then maybe you want to add the cabinets. Maybe you want to add some taller cabinets or that additional layer of cabinetry, maybe up to the ceiling or just so it extends up higher because some of these kitchens can be, can have quite high ceilings. Well, that's still going to be an upgrade as well. You're going to need to upgrade your basic cabinets. Granted, I know the cabinets that they're initially going to give you will be a higher quality than what you're going to get in the high production builders, but let's get those cabinets. Let's get the, get them the taller cabinets. Let's get them all the way to the ceiling because this is Toll Brothers and this is my opinion. And I'm talking about all the things that my client was griping about when we kept going in and out of the design center. So let's go back in here and talk about their website again. It is pretty easy to navigate and to look through. You can sort by price and location. It's going to lay out the prices of their collections when there are multiple in a community, which I do think is very helpful. See, like in Wildflower Ranch, they have the Elite Collection and the Select Collection. 
Over here in Toll Brothers, they have the Elite Collection Select and their Estate Collection. So especially for somebody who might be looking for their move up home and you notice a new community is getting ready to open up, but it doesn't have the list of their structural changes. I mean, I do know that sometimes you are able to do some of those here with Toll Brothers when you click on these different floor plans, but not everything is in there. You can see that some of them are optional, but you're not seeing all of the structural changes. I know they used to have a lot more options that used to be able to customize with Toll Brothers. Talking to the sales agent that I had dealt with for a few years, um, he was telling me how they're just really starting to streamline that a lot more and not offer nearly as many structural options and upgrades that they used to. But they are, because they are starting to scale back a little bit with that and make it easier to easier on the builder and what they're offering to their customers. So whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I mean, back in the day, again, like I say before, I feel like you used to be able to customize absolutely everything, it seemed. And now these builders are streamlining. And I know you used to have a ton more options with Toll Brothers than what you are getting now. Does not mean that they don't offer a great product with some really great floor plans, but just kind of something to think about if you are building now instead of having done that maybe even 20 years ago or even 10 years ago for that matter. So as I showed here, Toll Brothers does have different collections within their communities online. Um, they're going to segment those out in every single community. It is super helpful. So even when you go up here, the ranch at Uptown up in Salina that will be coming soon, another really good master plan community. Even in here, you can see they have four different off offerings, the Villa Collection, Elite Collection, Select Collection, and their Executive Collection. And the price is going to go up on all of those. Now, basically in their Elite Collection, for example, those are typically, typically going to be built on their smaller lots, like their 40 and 50 foot lots. Um, their Select Collection is going to go up just a little bit more. And those are typically going to be built on mainly their 60 foot lots. Then get on up to their executive collections. Those are going to be even larger, maybe on like their 70 foot lot sizes. And then the largest will be their estate collections, which will be their biggest homes that they're going to offer on the largest lots within a particular community. And sometimes they will have these communities with the half acre or even larger up to an acre lot sizes. But those are usually going to be found in more of their boutique communities that they are coming in. And that's they're all going to be basically the same, which is what you're finding, for example, up in Williams Ranch in Copper Canyon um, on the border of Flower Mound. So totally depends on what it is, but it really makes it easy on the prices and the different offerings in the different communities, how they have laid these out. Now, again, while I do love the Toll Brothers home, I will say that it is definitely one of the more expensive builders here in the DFW area. I have personally seen a few flaws. I have loved, again, the sales agents that I have gotten to deal with, but sometimes their communication has been a little bit slow or the lack of a response has had me driving through the neighborhood and tracking down whoever it was, we won't name names or whoever it was that I needed to talk to in order to get it handled. Ultimately, I will say everything has Every problem that has come up, issues that needed to get fixed, were always taken care of. But sometimes when you have an irate customer and they're super frustrated over some things that didn't get taken care of like they thought they would, it can be a little frustrating when you're getting a little bit of a delayed response. But ultimately, yes, everything does get fixed. We have had happy clients who have closed on their homes and have been super pleased when they have actually got into their new construction home because ultimately they have always ended up making it, making it right. Just happened to have been a little bit of pulling teeth along the way. And because of the quality of the builder that I do feel that Toll Brothers is, it is also pretty easy to get carried away with their upgrades. I did have one of my clients building with them. And once you start to add up all of the items from the design center and all of their upgrades, and again, all of the great things on electrical, I mean, how many outlets and lights do you really need? Those items really started to add up pretty quickly, especially on a larger home. So my best advice, again, especially with Toll Brothers Homes, is to set a budget. And while we say that you can expect maybe a 10 to 20% added on to the base price of a home just for the upgrades, I would definitely 
personally, from what I have seen, err on the higher end if you are building with Toll Brothers. They have higher end finishes that you can choose, and they obviously sure look all nice and shiny and pretty when you are sitting in a design center. So make sure you kind of set a budget and find a way to make it work. But that is just my two cents because it can get very overwhelming when building a building a we'll call it a semi custom home or a home with Toll Brothers. And honestly, that goes with multiple builders, but I've seen it happen multiple times with Toll Brothers. So certainly something to be aware of. So again, it's another reason why I say it's always best to have a real estate agent representing you on the build process because even those little things can matter. And of course, with custom higher end homes, you do need to go in expecting some longer construction timelines as well. They are not just throwing these homes up nearly as fast as these larger, um, bigger production builders. Toll Brothers is going to be ideal if you are looking for that luxury home that you can truly customize, but keep in mind that higher price point and your extended build times. So Toll Brothers came in at number 10 on our list of the biggest builders here in DFW. And while they have won a lot of major awards, they've won the National Builder of the Year, the Professional Builder of the Year, and even Fortune Magazine's world's most admired, one of their most admired companies as a home builder. So if you love a Toll Brothers home, if you can afford a Toll Brothers home, and if you want to get into a community where Toll Brothers is available, if any of these work out for you and you want more information, as always, don't hesitate to reach out. There are some great incentives and deals happening with most of these builders and a lot of really great ones with Toll Brothers right now. So I would be more than happy to get anything that you need to dial it down and find you that perfect home here in DFW. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. All my contact information is down below and leave your comments and let us know what you think. And now only two more are left. Let's move on to number 11.